Philip, how would you assess that match today? I think this match is a good promotion for Scottish football. With two teams who want to win, two teams who attacked, um, two teams creating chances. And of course, I need to look uh, in the first place to my side. I'm happy what they showed today. So they had more shots than Celtic today. Um, but we didn't take enough our moments and Celtic was more efficient on the day. And yeah, the, those are games who are in balance. You can lose them like today. It could have been a draw. We could have won the game. And the circumstances were not our side, on our side. So I'm really disappointed that we didn't get a penalty in the first half also. It's a situation that is very important in the game. And if you go 1-1 into the dressing room, it's another story. But despite that, uh, my team reacted uh, in the second half. Also after the world-class goal, the 2-0, the it's a very good goal. And you cannot do too many things about that. Uh, but we never stopped and even with 10 we kept on going and we created enough chances even with 10 to score the goal with other chances also and we went uh, until the end and everybody became nervous so I see a team that's growing I see a squad who's growing with more and more resilience with more and more mentality with more and more quality also on the ball and at the end you know uh, if the circumstances don't fall on your side, you can lose points in these games. And the biggest frustration, just chances that weren't taken, not being clinical enough. Just thinking back to the first half, there was one with Serial Dessos through No, that's not my biggest frustration because I see uh, Haaland and Mbappé also missing chances like that. So that's part of football. My biggest frustration is that if there's a clear handball, I don't understand why it's not a penalty given because that's a clear thing. So, I'm curious about that. Does, does it feel like an opportunity lost today for the game there for you? No, it's, it's not lost because lost is for me when you don't show the quality, if you don't do enough things to win points, then it's lost. This is part of football. Uh, the decision about the penalty is not part of football because that needs to be more clear. It's a clear handball. So that's another thing. But uh, I'm going to focus on my team. And for me, the most important thing is now on Tuesday to get the three points again and to build and continue building what the team is doing now last couple of weeks, last couple of months. So I don't think two months ago they were ready with 10 players to show this or even with 11 to show this in Celtic Park, so we will continue to work hard together with them. Did you seek an explanation from the referee at the end for the handball? No. Really, it's been communicated to us that Seema was offside before because it was a clear handball. Was that not communicated to you? No, it's first, there is no communication towards me. Secondly, if that was the communication, I, I'm not a referee, but I think the clear signal is then VAR offside that is the decision that everybody knows what happened it was just so there was no communication about that that moment i don't believe that because otherwise the signal of the referee is not correct so there's a mistake yeah. it's clear for everybody so okay it is what it is i make also mistakes but it's uh it's an expensive one today. When you were speaking to the referee after the game, what were you, what were you asking about it? I was asking why I get the yellow card. What did he say? Did he say? Because I reacted too hard. With the fourth official? No, I reacted even not with the fourth official. I re reacted on a ball that was clearly ours, that was giving on the other side. And it was one small reaction, no swearing, nothing. Um, but okay. It was a day like that, that the circumstances were not on our side. Let's say it like this, and it is what it is. From what you've seen today of your own team and Celtic, do you still think you have the capabilities to go and win the title? I'm not busy talking about that. I told you guys, we're busy with the marathon. I'm busy with making the team better. I'm busy with myself. I'm not busy with other teams, 
how they are performing. So I see a team, what they did today, they could not do that two, two months ago or even four or five weeks ago. So we're going to keep on building and to make it better and better. Did you, did you have any complaints with the Redcon that we all got? No, I think uh, I didn't see the images, but I think it's a, it's a red card. If he it was the last man, it's a red card. So nothing to discuss about that. Maybe we need to discuss then why no second yellow for a few uh, tackles from players who had yellow on the other side. But I don't want to go too much in that. Uh, I'm focused on my team. I want to make them better. The circumstances were not on our side. That's clear. And we fought until the, the last second to get the game over the line. We were almost there, even with 10. So those are things to build on. I'm not going to go in details about every action. Uh, I think you guys like to to spit into things. So um, it's may maybe not a good word. Well, my English is not, not oh, to go deep. To, no, sorry for my English. But to go deep into every detail about everything or every word I say or other coaches or the players. So. It's interesting to see uh, the evaluation of everybody about uh, about those uh, circumstances. That's finished. Um, I'm disappointed that we don't have three points or at least one point, because for me, my team really deserved that today, and we're going to work hard to to get a lot, a lot of points in the next couple of months.